why I think QAnon is real. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He made some points. Yeah. Mm. This is the, the really exciting part. This is for you guys. Wow. Oh, thanks, man. Oh. Thank you. No worries. Did you, did you edit that mask over the O? No, I found it on a, new, uh, on a newspaper. <laughs> uh, what, you found that photoshopped image. Yeah, I found it early, early during in the coronavirus pandemic. There was a very exciting 48 hours where someone vandalized the Hollywood sign to say Holly Weed a couple years ago. Mm-hmm. Yes. That is, that is cool. Yeah, it was like, I'm so glad I'm alive for this. That is... <laughs> Weed? Yes, Are you kidding? Holly weed, dude. It's I either like it. you, you get it or you don't. So yeah. Why? I'm happy to be one of those people who I do. for sure get it. I for sure get it. Uh, could you actually yeah. could you just explain it, Lily? <laughs> so all right. <laughs> it's basically like you just have to be a part of the crew, but everybody's <laughs> doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you do get it. For sure, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, guys, we've got about a minute and a half until showtime. I'm just going to walk you through because so you haven't spelled here before. These are the instruments I use. This is going to be your uh, your thinking music. Isn't that nice? That's beautiful. Yeah. I don't know what instrument that. it is. Yeah, it just sent me back to like something really traumatic. My body what? like really so, internalized something that. Tra- traumatic like you winning. True. <laughs> but feeling for a second that I wouldn't. Yeah, that's scary stuff. <laughs> oh, I hate that. <laughs> and so you know when you're like about to win and then you almost don't so uh, hard. Yeah, so that is like, hard. like yeah, traumatizing is like the right word. Yeah. I like <laughs> you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so this this is actually a traumatizing sound. So this is when you get it wrong. It's got vibrato oh. on. I'll try to turn that off, but that's um that's a nasty sound. Uh, actually, you guys can choose. You want vibrato on or off? Oh no, oh, on. On, baby. Yeah. It's like a least this confident. It makes it sound like human. I don't know. I lo- it sounds more human when there's vibrato. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the undulating sounds of a human uh, voice box. All right, guys, I'm just going to launch into it. It's it's 3.30 by my watch. So welcome along to the fifth Guy Montgomery's Guy Mont Spelling Bee. Thank you so much for joining us. A huge thank you to our contestants. Uh, yeah, 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 why not? Thank you, thank you. Why wouldn't you applaud yourself? A huge <laughs> welcome back to our reigning champion, Ayo Debri. Ayo, how are you? Guy, you know, I'm, uh, it's, it's good to be back. I just got to say one. I got to get something off my chest. It's, it's good to be back. That's how I'm doing. I'm doing it's good to be back. It's, I'm, I'm glad to have you back. I was uh, excited when you said you've, you've got the time. And uh, I was even more excited when you said you'd, you'd return enthusiastically. I, yeah. Um, Is this- you might be interested to hear I got a message from Rose yesterday where she showed me a different spelling of vulgar as in bulgar wheat. So uh, I don't know where your wow. friendship is, but she obviously isn't over the outcome of last week's B. Yeah, clearly it's not where I thought I was. I thought we were doing fine. We've DM'd back and forth pleasantly in my opinion, but nice to know that there was some malice yeah. behind those messages. Yeah. yeah, big time. She can be a real nasty piece of work, that Rose Matafaya. Uh, so thank you for so much for returning. I'll get to your word, but I'm going to introduce uh, challenges first. I'm going in accordance with how you configured on my uh, computer and Joe. Joe, you're first. Hi, Joe. Yeah. How do you do? I'm well, thank you. That's nice. You've got a, <laughs> a, a beautifully uh, configured room. Is that a, oh, a bicycle in the background, or is it a? No, a this is a this is a gong my wife bought, and I'm not allowed to touch it. Huh. <laughs> that would be like really a, good sound effects for this. Yeah, um, that's a shame. Maybe I'll, I'll ask her permission. Maybe when I'm uh, disqualified, I'll hit the gong. Yeah. Does she use the gong? Is it like her per- personal gong? Yeah, it's her personal gong. Wow. Wow. And why aren't you allowed to use the gong? <laughs> um, there's something about like you. She has to. You have to be trained, and there's like oils that your hands can like fuck it up. Like wow. be clumsy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And what does um, what does she use it for? 
Um, she does. Uh, she administers sound baths for herself and her friends, and um, it's for you know therapeutic. Uh, oh wow! Yeah, reasons. Um, I've gotten a couple. Um, clearly, I'm very chill, so it's it works True. wonders. Pretty ideal yeah. for this time of the year. Or yeah, life, mm. I mean. life. Yeah. yeah, it must be tantalizing um, to live so close to the gong and yet constantly have it just out of reach. Uh, oh, it's so tempting. All the time. Anytime she leaves the house, did I do it? Do you see? Have you ever done one illicit gong? She's allowed me under supervision. Yeah, but That's we did have illicit. a friend who we have a friend who came in, no, uh, asked no permission, and slammed the gong. And Just hit the gong. She's, she's wow. still like very upset about this. Wow. Holds it against our friend. See then. Right. Um, I, uh, I'm sorry to hear it. Joe, did you, what's your, what's your background with spelling, actually, before I ask you for your, for your word? <laughs> Do you like um, it? Are you good at it? You know, I think there was a point in my life where I was probably pretty good at it, but um, sort of counterintuitively, I think I'm, I'm much worse at spelling now that I write a lot because mm. uh, there's spell, automatic spell check. So I can, like, just completely destroy a word, misspell it. <laughs> And but like a third of the way in, it kind of knows what I'm going for and it fixes mm -hmm. it for me. So I've just like lost the ability to even try. So this I is my see. first attempt at trying to spell in probably years. How do yeah. you feel? I'm, I'm nervous as hell. I mean, my I, I won a geography B in sixth grade. So oh. you want to do a spinoff, I'm there, dude. <laughs> I, I have no desire to do a geography B. All right. Uh, I'm going to lose. <laughs> Where, where, where was the joke? He just offered, guy. He just offered. You don't have to be so rude. Yeah, just, that's true. Offered. What, what were you yeah, going to ask, Aaron? I said, where was the geography be? It was in St. Paul, Minnesota. Oh, that's correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, and Joe, did you bring along a word that you have a particular affinity for, either to say or spell? Um, well, my the the city I was born and raised mostly in is a word uh that's like famously hard to spell so albuquerque new mexico oh yeah one of the first words i had to learn to spell albuquerque can i can i guess it yeah please a l b e r q u e q u e nah man hit your buzzer that's... dude oh uh, yeah well, i'll buzz myself <laughs> <laughs> that, that vibrato really takes the sting off the buzz yeah um, the, the machine sounds less sure of itself how do you spell albuquerque a L B U Q U E R Q U E. It was. Isn't that where um, Bugs Bunny was always off to? Yeah, dude. dude. <laughs> so exciting. Yeah, that's cool shit. Uh, well, thank you so much for joining us, Joe. And then now, all the way from the very warm Sydney, Australia, uh, Aaron <laughs> Chen. Hey, Hello, Aaron. Guy Montgomery. Good, good to see you. Do you guys have an earthquake the other day? A, mo a mild earthquake? Yeah, we did. I was, it was away awesome. from where I currently am, but it, it did happen. Yeah. Good to see you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you getting me to verify this information? I uh, just small talk. I didn't, I got nervous. Oh, you got nothing to be nervous about. We're friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. That's more of a um, geography B thing. That's a more small talk for a geography B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that is a, a geology B, even. Uh, what's what's your history with with spelling, Aaron? How's my spelling? Um, A W E S O M E. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, yeah. I, I oh, it. yeah. <laughs> it's not the exact question he asked, but yeah. <laughs> I have got it written down in the book, so you know, I have to say at some point. <laughs> <laughs> and what's what's um what's life like in Sydney, Australia, right now? Is it good for you? Oh, it's really good. It's kind of overcast, quite cold, and I'm cooking a lot. I'm thinking of buying a four hundred dollar pan, a pot to cook in. Four hundred dollars, not to brag. Wow. Yeah, I, I've been saving up for a long time, but in American dollars, it'd be only like two hundred dollars. Still a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow, it's really nice of you to do an <laughs> estimate on the exchange rate there. <laughs> two or three hundred, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it could take a hundred. Did you bring along a word, Aaron? Um, I, 
I didn't know. Yeah. Uh, oh, my... awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Did you um, think of any words you like? Yep. Um, I brought along the word brain. <laughs> oh. Why do you like the word brain so much? Well, you know what words you can't spell without um, your, the brain? Sure, yeah. <laughs> Brainiac. <laughs> I feel like your emphasis was all in the wrong places in that yeah. sentence. I thought you were uh, saying that you can't spell any words with any word without a brain. brain. Yeah, 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 me too. I was like, these yeah. are some serious intimidation like that yeah. going on. <laughs> we're all being really heavily fucked with right now. <laughs> it's working. I'm scared to see even by his uh, affable and coy demeanor. This Aaron Chen is a, is mean and nasty. Yeah. We do it different down under. Hammering <laughs> um, <laughs> the, the drinks. Um, <laughs> our final, <laughs> our final We're gonna challenge. have to pee like midway through this. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. It's full. It's already full. <laughs> um, <laughs> our final challenger. <laughs> In the spelling bee is uh, Lily Sullivan coming in from Los Angeles. Hi, Lily. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are, how's everybody doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm still good, actually. I'm very excited. Wonderful. Thank you for being here. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah are, are, are you. Are you the host now? Yeah. So we're gonna get started here. If you guys are ready. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I asked you, Lily, to be in this, and you you had to sleep on it. Yeah, I, I literally had to and, because and, I'm, I mean, I have a really bad history with spelling. I'm really bad at it. <laughs> and so I was like, I don't know that this is for me, guy. Like, this could be really bad and very embarrassing. And it might be that. <laughs> I, well, I mean, what sort of got you over the line to think that it would be fun? Well, I was like, I mean, I was thinking about it like, well, I guess even if I'm bad at spelling, there's plenty of people that are bad. Like, like everyone was saying, you're, everyone's getting worse at spelling by the day. So maybe I'm actually better than I think I am. I don't think so, but maybe. <laughs> that would be a nice surprise for you. Yeah. And um, do you have any, like, do you have traumatic memories from spelling? Anything in particular? I mean, yeah, I, well, I was like, so I was definitely like um, high functioning dyslexic growing up for sure. Oof. But like, I, I found this old journal and every entry diary is misspelled. It's like, dear Dury. <laughs> 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 like every single entry. <laughs> Um, so I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't remember ever being good at it, obviously, but I was also like, I mean, it, after a while, once like computers existed, it didn't really matter anymore. So this yeah. is why I'm like getting traumatic memories of like, oh, I'm not good at this. <laughs> I think, I, I think you'll, you'll either be pleasantly surprised or you'll know for certain. And yeah. either way, <laughs> what an outcome. Do you for? have a, do you have a word that you have a positive relationship with in terms of spelling or saying? Well, I was thinking about, I, I mean, is this supposed to be like a hard word? Because I was no, like... It, it can just be anything. Well, I mean, as hard as brain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so quite difficult. <laughs> I feel like I was like, well, I like the word, like I like um, the word kumquat a lot. I think it's Ooh. really funny and fun to yeah. say. But then I was like, what word do I like say a lot? And I figured out, my fiance told me basically, I say the word fresh all the time to describe like everything. I'll be like, like it's really fresh. Like the salad is super fresh. This, <laughs> <laughs> the pillows in the room look like nice and fresh. So I think like without me knowing, that's my favorite word is fresh. Fresh, fresh is a nice <laughs> word. Yeah. There was Just to a let failed... you know, it's um, not, not very challenging to spell. Okay. <laughs> yeah, nice, Aaron. Why don't you absolutely hammer the one dyslexic speller? <laughs> there was a, um, a failed supermarket <laughs> chain. Yeah, fucking down. <laughs> the failed supermarket chain in New Zealand called Big Fresh, which I think is just the coolest name for a supermarket. Wouldn't That's you want to go cool. buy your groceries from Big Fresh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
That's yeah. a cool nickname fail? for you. That, would, Ooh, that could yeah. be Lily's nickname for me or for Lily. <laughs> I, you know, either one. I was going to say Lily because it's her favorite word, but uh, I'm reconsidering it. You want to be kind a of our big feels red like dude. by default now Aaron gets it. That's what I feel like. <laughs> yeah, Aaron, Aaron <laughs> Shane's a big fresh. Well, maybe the winner of tonight's spelling bee will be crowned That's big fresh. That's to be called big um, well, thank you, thank you so much, Lily yeah. and I. Before we get into the the meat and potatoes of the Gaimont spelling bee, yes. did you bring along a, a, a new word, a fresh word, to share with us? Oh, a lovely integration of that guy. Hats off. Um, yeah, I've I, actually I been on a podcast before, so I get it. <laughs> That's almighty. <laughs> okay, my <laughs> word. I I picked another word that I thought would sound fun in a New Zealand accent. Okay. Yeah. Jumper. Jumper. Like jumper. jumper. Yeah. Yeah. Jumper. Okay. You, jumper. That is nice. Can you say it in an Australian accent, Aaron? Jumper. That's even nicer somehow. Thank even you. though the Australian jumper. accent's inferior. That's one of my um that's a great a great sort of New Zealand Australia animal crossover joke is uh what do you get when you cross a, a sheep with a kangaroo? A woolly jumper. Hey? <laughs> It's a bit of fun. Yeah. Yeah. That, that went great. Yeah. That was a big hit. <laughs> All right. It made me sad. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, sorry. No, that's not what it's meant to do. It's meant to make you laugh. <laughs> what an unlikely outcome. Um, so, I was just picturing but, them having sex. And... Having sex, yeah. <laughs> and this horrible was, jumping like, creature <laughs> just over, yeah. just burdened by his fur, yeah. by his wool. I was yeah. yeah. picturing them getting to know each other beforehand. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh, that's like a cute, cute little you. date. That's and they're sharing a plate of spaghetti. <laughs> uh, the big fresh. You can always rely on you for your wholesome comedy content. Um, <laughs> this is the, the, the fifth guy on Spelling Bee. Io, you'll have a vague idea of how it runs. But for everyone else, this isn't a knockout Spelling Bee. This isn't what you see in the, the documentary Spellbound. This is more like... Uh, a, a game show where you accumulate points for spelling words correctly. We've got five rounds. Uh, each person gets one turn in a round. So I'll give you a word. You either spell it correctly or incorrectly. No one else can then buzz in and take over the word, except for in one round, which I've been told to stop doing, but I believe in it. It's called the acrostic round, and I'll explain more about that when we get to it. Okay. It starts <laughs> off pretty easy. The order of spelling will be Joe, Aaron, Lily, Io. Um, you can't write the word down. It all has to be done in your head. Okay. It's an important <laughs> stipulation. Uh, otherwise, I think we're good to go. Have we got any questions? No? No. Oh. No. Hey, let's get spelling, baby. So the first okay. round. B A B. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, you got it. You got it. The first okay. round is uh, it's actually I'm staying at my my parents' house, and this is uh, it's the stuff around the house, round stuff I found around the house, and um, you're up first, Joe. Okay. And truth be told, this is this can be tough, I think, for some. Your word is um, is vacuum. 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 Uh, all right. Is it V A C U U M? Yeah, big time it is. Correct. Congratulations. The big delay. <laughs> You're so confident. Yeah, the delay is really fun. I, I can't help myself. I apologize to everyone. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a lot of drama, it, a lot of tension. So it really fun. worked. It made me question everything. <laughs> yeah, you brought it home. Uh, Aaron, you're up next, and you'll appreciate this because you're currently having the results of one of these. Your word is um, this is a big word, isn't it? No, no, no. This isn't an aeropress. You, you, you dingus. It's an it's a what we call a percolator. So your word is percolator. Percolator. P e r c o l a t o r. Percolator. Correct. You look like you're frozen, guy. You look like it's, <laughs> it's all part of the performance. It's trickery. I'm actually I'm, I'm fully mobile. Uh, all right, Lily, you're you're up next, and this is the first round, and uh, this is a bit of a it's a fun one to hold, a fun a fun one to use to say and to spell. It's a spatula. Okay, spatula. S P A C H U L A. 
So sorry. No. Give you that sweet yeah. vibrato. What did uh, I forget? Well, you, I, I, it might be my accent or your enthusiasm, but a spatula is actually oh, spelled this Yeah. I've always said it's spatula. Ah, now, I, you know. now I know you guys. It's gonna be. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> how are you feeling? I'm feeling bad. <laughs> um, that's, that's not good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, uh, the, the final word in the first round is for you, Io. And these ones are, are, are fun. It's uh, but it's binoculars. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, binocular. B I N O C U L A R S. Binocular. Z S. Wait, yes? Did I say that? Yeah, co yeah, correct. Cool. You spelled it correctly and also with an unbelievable <laughs> amount of sass. Yeah. <laughs> Real, really. Wait, not. You you, you cheered up by the end, but you were almost furious to be given binoculars. I thought, I don't know, what do I know? <laughs> Guy, listen, it's an emotional sport. I don't know what to say. Yeah, I'm not going to police anyone's behavior. These are, are fun. What are you looking at? What are you peeping at? I'm just looking out the window. <laughs> when you're a kid, these are all good. And then when you become an adult, unless you're using them at sports events, uh, they're really creepy. <laughs> I have a very suspicious neighbors across the street from me, so I use binoculars on the reg. I'm pretty sure if you're the one using the binoculars, you're the suspicious neighbor, well, Joe. You'd think that. I think, I think they're running a meth lab, and I want to check it out. Whoa. Fair enough. It can be hard to get high-quality meth in LA. The next <laughs> round is the homophone round. I should have said this at the start of the first round. Um, that, that was worth five points, as is the second round. A correct spelling is worth five points, so don't worry, Lily. You've got a chance to catch everyone up. And I this round wait. is... Um, it's a bit of fun. I didn't organize these beforehand. I'm so sorry. This one is the... It's okay. Here we are. It's the homophone round. You know what homophones okay. are? Yeah. Can anyone tell me? Um, it's like, how, it's like you know, you got to be in the club. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to know. <laughs> yeah, okay. you gotta, Wait, well, it's you... either the one... It's the one where it's like... There's like an, there's like a, it sounds like. It's like kernel and kernel. Yeah. Correct. Oh. It's a subset of homonyms. Exactly. So they're, they're words that sound the same, but are spelt differently. Uh, and, and a so, homonym is. A homonym is words that are spelt the same, but are pronounced differently. There so exactly. Live and live. <laughs> um, so this is exciting. First up again, we have Joe and Joe your word, and remember you can ask for it in a sentence, your word <laughs> okay. is chair. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need a, that in a sentence. <laughs> I think it might just be like an accent thing. When I was, uh, oh no, sorry. We all gave a big chair as the man <laughs> sat down in his chair. <laughs> no. Wait. Hi. <laughs> So I, just, I can spell either one. I don't understand this. Uh, uh, well, I, I try to get the one I'm looking for, but yeah. <laughs> wow, it's a real 50-50. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to guess C-H-E-E-R. Cheer. Correct. All right. Cheer. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Not cheer. That was a villainous <laughs> round. This round is villainous. <laughs> Way to go, Joe. Thank you. I mean, it was a real flip of a coin, to be honest. I know. No, you, you did the right thing. Uh, Aaron, you're up next, and your word mm -hmm. is eight. <laughs> Can I please get that in a sentence, guys? <laughs> yes. <laughs> when I was eight, I ate eight pancakes to try and impress my babysitter. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> I, I will say um, A-T-E. Correct. <laughs> Eight. No. Oh, no. I would have gotten that wrong. I would have gotten it wrong. I'll be wrong. honest. I would have gotten it wrong. <laughs> I thought eight. it was eight. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was eight. Well, that's, that, that's, that can be tough. Uh, Lily, you're up next, and your word is 
do. Do. Oh, there might be some pronunciation issues here. Yeah. Do you. Don't forget, you, you can ask for it in a sentence. Yeah, can I hear it in a sentence? I'd love to. <laughs> well, it's getting cold where I am in New Zealand. In fact, I'd say we're about due a due. Oh. Oh. I guess I'll go D-U-E. I'm so sorry. That is not what we were looking for. It was due. It was due. I actually knew that one. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Lily. Uh, it's, it's tough. It's a tough round. And Io, you're up last and your word is I. I mean, can I? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Rodney. Yeah, forget, forget about that. What, what was he getting? Was he getting a... <laughs> no, no, ask he doesn't him. have... Ask, ask him. Ask him. Just ask Rod him. They want to know what you got and don't talk, don't talk about the dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's, it's kind of a moose. It's kind of it is a moose. <laughs> it's a moose. M O U S S. It's a casual midday moose. That's right. It's one. It's one fifty three in Australia. They can yeah. It's part it's of moose time. Yeah. Yeah. Great time oh, for a moose. Sorry, I I, I should have disrupted your your go. Your word is I. No, I, I, like Aaron was playing his fucking mind games again. Moose <laughs> surprise. Um, okay, <laughs> please. Here in a sentence. Uh, yeah, sure. I like my eyes. <laughs> what? <laughs> I realized I, I should say I like both of them, so I had to put an S on. Well, I mean, <laughs> E Y E I. I'll kill you if it's just I. Is it it's just, just I? It's just <laughs> I. Yeah. Oh. It's tough. It's a tough round. Yeah, that's so, a, that's a tough uh, round for sure. Not even A Y E. No, no, just I. At the end of two rounds, we have <laughs> Lily in fourth, yet to score. Io in third on five, and in first equal Joe and Aaron with a perfect ten. The next round, this third round, these are some tough words, man. So oh, yeah. I, um, Hi. as I said, I'm, st I'm staying with my family. And so I've asked, uh, I've got two sisters and my mum and dad here, and I've asked them all to provide uh, a word. So this is the Montgomery family round. Ooh, cute. They provided a word and a sentence. Uh, you've Who's got something to say? Something. Yeah, oh. I want to see the illustration. Uh, so, yeah, the illustrations are things that um, my family members like to do. Oh, what are they nice. saying? Uh, so th oh. This is me, and I'm, I'm laughing. I'm going, ha, 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 <laughs> because oh. I love to laugh. You like comedy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah. There's like a lot of animals, huh? <laughs> yeah, animals are a big hit in, in this family here. <laughs> the person on the left is two rats, the pets. So cute. Those are actually dogs, and uh, one of the one of the dogs since this drawing was originally done three weeks ago. One of the dogs has actually uh, has, had, has had to be put down. So oh, yeah. thanks a lot, Aaron. That's <laughs> okay. really wow. real nasty stuff that, that I've sort of come to expect from the big fresh. Um, you, but you also you drew that three weeks ago. Yeah, <laughs> you could have drawn a more try. respectful. I, I, you could have also I, like taken longer, added some detail, some shading. Yeah, some well, I didn't color even, would be good. I, I that's true. I, <laughs> yep, all good notes. Actually, right, that some color would be good. <laughs> some color would be good, Thanks, guys. guys. Yeah. So, uh, I tell you what else would be good is actually a bit of goddamn respect around here. Right now, for the color, dog. What can I yeah. say? <laughs> I'm sorry. After um, that uh, homophone round, you expect <laughs> me to respect you? Yeah, it would be nice. Um. Now, because cheer and leading, chair sound completely different. Cheer. But not in cheer. New Zealand accent. The Montgomery yeah. family round. Cheer. Six cheer. words cheer. upward. Ten points. Godless accent. And <laughs> Joe, uh, because you've been spelling first and you're currently leading, you actually get uh -huh. to choose. So it's the only round where you get to choose. You can have a word from Annie, my younger sister, Alice, my older sister, Stephen, my dad, or Charlotte, my mum. 
Um, I'll go with your dad. I'll take a dad word, please. All right. Steven. Shit, what is Steven. your dad? I, I should have asked for, for, for details what they do. Uh, whatever. Okay, Steven. I'll do Steven. That's all right. Yeah. Steven's words is scatological. Uh, and yeah. You get, I know you, you, you can just start spelling. I got them to, to all provide sentences if you want oh, to hear Oh, no, those. I want to hear that. I would love to hear this. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm so grateful they do it because it takes care of around, but I. You know, I'll, I'll just read the sense. My father is not amused by scatological humor. <laughs> Why would you uh, say something like that, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, he provided that or you made up the sentences? Now, he provided the sentence. They provide like the word and the like, It seems passive like aggressive. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> specifically, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was the joke, guy? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't make any joke. <laughs> uh, scatological. <laughs> Uh, S C A T O L O G I C A L. Where's, where's the correct spelling? It's uh, scatological is spelt thusly. Yeah, okay. All right. It's the A that'll get you. So I'm so sorry, Joe. No score there. Uh, Aaron, as you're in first seat, when you can choose of the three remaining words, would you like a word from? Annie, Alice, or Charlotte? Um, I will pick Alice. Alice, my older sister. Has oh, more, us. more mature. They won't um, try to show off. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? Do you think I try to show off? A little, a little. <laughs> <laughs> That's honest. One of the most hurtful things you can say to someone. Uh, <laughs> Alice's <laughs> word is curmudgeon. Curmudgeon. Can I get that in a sentence, please? Again, this is quite an insider sort of sentence. Once we put a show off word as well. <laughs> but he just said she's not a show off. Well, Once we finished wiping the floor <laughs> with Stephen in a game of 500 last night, he turned into a bit of a curmudgeon. <laughs> And Stephen's your um, dad. Correct. All right. To, uh, this is dedicated to all the to, to all the viewers. Um, <laughs> to imagine, I will choose to spell that C U R M U D G E O N. Imagine. Correct. Wow. <laughs> nice. Thanks to all the viewers out there. The viewers appreciate that. I'm sure that was cool. <laughs> well, what so a good go out to them. So. Um. <laughs> so coming up next, Io, as you're currently sitting in third, you can choose between uh, a word from either my little sister Annie or my mum Charlotte. I would like to pick a word from your mum. Charlotte and also like thank her just for everything that she's like done and like wow. sacrificed and like yeah. brought to the world. Um, and if I could dedicate this spell to anybody, I would dedicate it to Charlotte. Um, I hope she's doing well and having a, a really fantastic uh, day. That's that is awesome. so sweet. I will pass it on. That is awesome. Thank you. Uh, Charlotte's <laughs> thank word Charlotte. is diarrhea. Oh, <laughs> come on, I could do this in a. Wait, guys, did it last week? I was like, that word is crazy to spell. I, yeah. She chose it, not me. This is I like, like I, I've always felt connected to her. Um, <laughs> I just have. I have. Okay. Do you want to hear, do you want to hear her sentence? <laughs> yes. Can I please hear Charlotte's sentence for diarrhea? I'm going to give it to you as she wrote it. Thank you. Diarrhea. Eat too many fresh apricots and you may well get diarrhea! Exclamation mark? Three Caps? of the suckers. Is there oh, yeah. tension between your mom and dad? Oh my god, god. show me! Oh, it's showing! Oh shit, thanks, Io. Yeah, I can't show you. <laughs> uh, uh, and good question, Joe. You'd think there would be. They chose those words without knowing what each other's were. That's amazing. Yeah. I like I tried to cover it. I was like, this no, guy, is, no. Yeah, it seems <laughs> I didn't see it, but like, that's crazy. Okay. 
I didn't see it. I, I trust Aya. I'm well gonna. After. I'll ask the contestants. Are you happy for Aya to continue with this word? Yes. No. Joe has what? a problem. Joe has no, a problem. I, just, I I should have got. I should have gone with Charlotte. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I know nice this been. word. Um, oh. Aaron, are you okay with it? Well, I, yeah. I, um, yeah. Go on. Fan all right. Fantastic. Io, please. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're, gonna, you're going on a list somewhere, Aaron. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I feel like I'm not going to be welcome in like Australia. Like I feel like if you go up to Sydney, they're going to be like, you can't come. I know okay, it's well, the Michael Jordan yeah, of spelling. Yeah. All I, it takes is a little slice. Like it. Yeah. I, I've got I a grudge. Maybe I should spell it um, pluralized. Oh, Can you pluralize diarrhea? <laughs> <laughs> okay, diarrhea plural. <laughs> D I A R R H E A. Diarrhea. Z. <laughs> no! Huh? Diarrhea. D oh, no, wait, no, 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 different, we spell different in America. America, there's no O, there's the no O in America, no. we're playing antipodian there's... rules, <laughs> <laughs> commonwealth there's... spelling, I guess, <laughs> do you know what, I, I should have done my due diligence and checked for alternative spellings, I usually do, I didn't, you've been supported by two fellow contestants, so I will retract the vibrato, yeah. I take it back. All the, all the diarrhea havers out here are furious. Yeah. I give you the points. Yeah, I have a lot of We're friends in the Discord pissed right now. Yeah, well, they would be. they got leaky assholes. Stephen Montgomery <laughs> would hate that joke. Io, you can have your 10 points and the sleeves. Uh, Lily, with the, the last word of the round, chosen by my little sister, Annie. And i got to tell you, this young woman can be a right little fuck. What? <laughs> words somehow oh, i'm actually going to check the pronunciation is uh, uh cattle wumpus what that's so sad cattle <laughs> <laughs> wampus oh that helps that's better yeah cattle wampus it's an adjective meaning askew awry or position diagonally and in a sentence stephen's filing system was all Catawampus, and no one could find any of their printing on the laundry floor. Does anyone respect your father? <laughs> <laughs> he has been copying it lately, man. but he gives as good as he gets. Okay. I was right about um, your younger sister being a show off. <laughs> Stop hanging shit on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Catawampus. 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 Um, C A T A W O M P O U S. Uh, wanted you to get it right. It was. A, it's a really tough one. It's. I can't even imagine actually learning to use it. C A T A W A M P U S. Catawampus. Oh. Catawampus. Oh. I can't. I would have done the O U S. I would have done the O U S. It's a. It's a. It was a tough word, and it's a tough round. Uh, at the end of three rounds, we have Lily <laughs> living her worst nightmare still yet to score. <laughs> I mean, it truly is. I'm gonna be like having nightmares for years. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, Joe in third place on 10. Io in second place on 15. And Aaron sitting in front with 20 points, the maximum wow. available so far. And we're on to the next round now. And this is a round that I did last. I've done the last two weeks and I get a lot of criticism for it because it's really confusing to explain. But I think it's cool. <laughs> it's, my, it's my fucking spelling bee. So what are you going to yeah. do? You know? <laughs> I went for a walk with my older sister this morning and she said, yeah, you got to get rid of that round. It, it sucks. Um, oh, wow. So here it is. Wow. The acrostic, so back again. 
the acrostic round. So it's back again. You gotta get you some color on these signs. Well, yeah. it's a great note, but I'll, I'll put it down <laughs> times two. It's your fifth I can't, Nobody's dead. I can't even see it. You've seen me on screen this whole time. At what point could I have suddenly colored in any of the signs? Right. I, <laughs> just would be, I mean, while I just, you were prepping, looking for your words, I just would be a nice pop. I like obviously support you. I think this is so fun. You're, but you're, I, like, yeah, you clearly yeah. feel it. You're, you're overcompensating with the sweatshirt because you know. Right. How, you know there's a lack of so color. You somewhere. saw me put on the sweatshirt. You knew I was nervous. I'm wearing an exercise yeah. t-shirt underneath this. So I was humiliated. <laughs> you know that's a soft yeah. spot for me. Even so, the walls could have more color. Like there just could be so much more color, guy. Yeah. Well, just for next time, because I know I'm gonna win and I'm wall. gonna be back. <laughs> After I win yeah. and I'm back, it's like if have it, the signs colored in. If you even could fit was like four gongs back there for what I'm saying. Yeah, That's yeah. True. And I'd be allowed to use all of them because I'm not insanely <laughs> differential to my wife's sound baths. Now uh, the acrostic, if you don't know, an acrostic poem is one of those ones where you write down the letters like that and you say, so this is an oh, acrostic no. poem based on the name Guy. So go under, yes, I just wrote it then. The, the famous finest. Gary Busey, Gary Busey makes acrostics. So you're in good does company. He? Yeah. Where does he do I that? love Gary Busey. Um, like I think he like, <laughs> I think he like, you can request an acrostic, he'll make them for you. It's like his his little version of cameo. That's great. Yeah, he makes, yeah, exactly. Poetry cameo. They're quite fun to do. So in this round, we have in front of me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, an eight letter word. So okay. there's eight words to try and spell in this round. So one round you're allowed to use pen and paper, not for your spelling, but to try and put it together. Each, the first letter of each word we spell is the is the a letter in the acrostic word? So okay. if you take the first letter of each of the eight words you're spelling, it will spell out a different word, and like you know its own word. The first person to correctly guess the word I'm spelling acrostically will get a bonus thirty points. Everyone okay. gets one free guess, and then after that, every incorrect guess you lose five points. <laughs> um. Otherwise, this is a buzz in round. So your names are your buzzers. I'm going to say the word. If you think you know how to spell it, buzz in. If you spell it correctly, you'll get 10 points. If you spell it incorrectly, you'll lose 10 points. There's a lot of explaining to do. I can really can see I, the criticism. And you can guess from. at any point what the acrostic word is? You can. You could guess okay. right now if you wanted. And uh, wait, how do you buzz in? You say your name. Your name. Oh, so like Lily. That's Aaron's gone. Aaron left. I, I have to get a pen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What Aaron, kind of pen is that? Can Jay Burroughs. 1.8. Is that, is that wow. a good pen brand? Yeah, I got a hundred of them for $3. That's yeah. a great deal. Pretty good. Thanks. 1.0, like millimeter? Like yeah, 1.0. 1, 1, 1. Um, maybe that it could be, yeah, it could be a lot of things. Big pen. Big pen. Big pen. <laughs> 1.0 of 100 pens. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah, every word. This is, the, this is a round where if you, this is the only round where if you spell a word incorrectly, you lose the points. If you spell it correctly, obviously you get ten points. Uh, are there any other questions before we get into it? Uh, no, I, I think I get it. I think I think everyone gets it too. Oh, I should also say, if for example the word is duck, and Joe buzzes in and spells it incorrectly, as soon as you hear this noise. Other contestants can buzz in and spell the word correctly. The points are still available. Wow. Okay. Okay. If mm -hmm. everyone passes, we'll just ignore the word. Um, all right, here we are. Round four. Your first word in the acrostic round is paraphernalia. Io. Mm -hmm. I heard Io. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Confident. Uh, <laughs> paraphernalia. Okay. P A R A P H uh, mm. <laughs> Do I lose points if I get this wrong? Yeah, big time. <laughs> okay, awesome. Can I start over from the beginning? You can't change, but for your own sake of momentum, you no, can. No, no, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Okay. P A 
R A P H. Paraphernalia. Paraphernalia. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Paraphernalia. Anyone else? I'm wrong. Uh, <laughs> wrong buzzer. That was the wrong buzzer. If if no one wants to spell it, you you can all pass, and I'll I'll tell you how to do it, and we'll move on. I'll try. I'll try, Joe. Oh, brave boy. Here comes Joe Mandy, everybody. P-A-R-A-P-H. I already, oh, okay. P-A-R-A-P-H-E-N-A-L-I-A. -A -A. Damn. Damn. I'm not going to go for it. I'm not happy. I'm not happy Aaron. because I'm... Oh, away from Aaron. oh, this is horrible. This is the worst event of my life. <laughs> Go ahead, Aaron. What Joe, how Joe spelled it was how I was going to spell it. So now I'm going <laughs> to cool. from my plan yeah. B. <laughs> P P A R A P H A N A L I A. Ooh. I didn't, yeah, sorry. That would put a real spring in Thanks, Iowa's step. I look. <laughs> Lily, are you you're not gonna you're not gonna try I mean, it? I can't go into the negatives, so no. Fair enough. <laughs> Paraphernalia. Oh, Joe is the closest, but it's a tricky one. You missed an R. It's P-A-R-A-P-H-E-R-N-A-L-I-A. -A -A. Oh. Famous silent R. Very cool. That famous iconic New Zealand <laughs> silent R. Paraphernalia. Oh. No one Paraphernalia. no one puts the R in. <laughs> <laughs> Paraphernalia. By the way, this there's a there's a the, these words uh they vary in difficulty, just so everyone knows. They're not all gonna be as annoying as paraphernalia. And make sure um I only remind you once at the start of the round, but make sure that you've all got that P down there for the acrostic word that mm. we're building out together. Mm -hmm. Am the I next, I'm at zero points now? Presently. Yeah, cool. And I'm yeah, at yeah. five. I you are at five. And Aaron's at 10. Yeah, and Lily's on zero. I mean, everyone's still in the race. We're all here. doing great. <laughs> uh, the next word is acquiesce. Um, Go ahead, Aaron. Um, uh, A C Q U I E S C E. Correct. Ah, uh, that is good spelling, man. That word is uh, my real. I actually, I wrote it down fresh. on a piece of paper wrong. The big fresh comes through with the big word. The big fresh. It's a. It's That's a, very um, nice of you guys for a, still acquies, calling me that. Acquiesce is quite a nice word, eh? <laughs> it is nice. Oh man. Oh my god. All right. Everyone ready for the okay. next word? Yes. The yeah. next word is team. Lily. I heard Lily. Team? T-E-A-M? Correct. Oh, my God. All right. If I win, I'm actually going to be upset. I don't want to go back. <laughs> <laughs> It took one word, one word spelled correctly, and you got way ahead of yourself. I love it. <laughs> I want to stay at the bottom. Uh, okay. The fourth word in the acrostic round is. Oh, shit. I wonder if it's spelled the same in both. Is it hazardous? Hazardous? Io. Oh, Go ahead, Io. Hazardous. H A Z A R D O U S. Hazardous. Is there a different New Zealand spelling? Correct. Oh. Can I guess the word? Yes. Can I you guess can. the acrostic pathogen? 
Incorrect. Past, uh, great. I'm, I'm going, but, I'm shooting the moon now. How many letters? Yeah. It's eight letters. So you, that's incorrect. You don't lose any points for guessing incorrectly, by the way. Okay, great. Okay, good. But from now on, if you guess and it's incorrect, you'll lose. Oh, but um, I can keep guessing. Five points. Yeah, but you can keep guessing. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, I think. Okay. I think I figured something out. The fifth word in the across the ground is egg. Io. Really? Io got in. I can't believe everyone else was so slow on egg. <laughs> <laughs> okay. E G G I O. I'd like to guess the word. I'd like to guess the across. Oh, power play from Io. Huge. You spelled it correctly. You can guess the word. Go ahead. Okay. Pathetic. Yeah. Correct. Oh. 30 bonus points to Io. Damn. Yeah. Massive. <laughs> I really thought yeah. I was coming back. <laughs> Huge. And do you think she's happy about that? <laughs> it's on my ass, Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, no. He's got to watch. I just can't he match his intensity. <laughs> yeah, he was. I'll freaking say. <laughs> we still spell the remaining three words. The next word is... Terrific. Joe. Joe got in. T E R R I F I C. Correct. The seventh word is ingenious. Aaron. Go ahead, Aaron. I N G E N I O U S. Ingenious. Ingenious. Bricks. What the hell? An American five dollar bill. Yeah, yeah. you guys are not the only ones with American money. <laughs> A lot of money. <laughs> okay, Mr. Cast Iron. If you come for Aaron Chin, you better come correct, Io. The final <laughs> word in the across Come the for five dollars. <laughs> But it's five out of a possible two or three hundred from to buy that lovely pot he's been right. saving up for. That's anywhere between seven and ten Australian dollars. <laughs> That's good math, Joe. Yeah, that is a flex, dude. Okay, uh, that is good math, Joe. Uh, the final word in the across the ground is, I would call this a companion of the word fresh, actually. It is crisp. Ooh, I know. I heard Lily and Io at the same time. I'm going to need you guys to rock off because I don't want to call it. Io? What does rock off mean? Rock, paper, scissors? Yeah, what is rock, it's rock paper, scissors, and oh, the, the rock winner will get the spell. But you can only use rock. So. Yeah, we can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you guys, okay. you go ahead. Rock off? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do we do, do you just shoot? Oh. Uh, I, I, I would, yeah, you guys uh, can sort it out. It makes sense. I go so rock, paper, scissors, shoot, and you, yeah. you draw and shoot. All right. Okay. Cool. But also there's a delay, yeah. so be mindful. Yeah, it'll be close right. enough. <laughs> Rock, Rock, paper, paper scissors. Scissors. <laughs> what are okay, you bad. Like that? <laughs> okay, bad. I did this, but okay, we okay. gotta go again. We gotta get it. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Rock, Rock. Paper. paper. Scissors. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> This is your show, man. This is your show. I can watch this all night. <laughs> this is just. I believe uh, I O scissors beats Lily's paper. Yeah, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. unfortunately, yes. Yeah. All right, I O, please spell crisp. Crisp. C R I S P. Crisp. Correct. So that is the end of the acrostic round. I'm just going to do some maths here. So if you could please all just talk to each other for about 10 to 15 seconds. That would be greatly appreciated. Uh, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> what's up? So do you have any yeah. more money? Yeah, I got <laughs> uh, other currencies. What do you got? Um, Aaron, got I'm sorry 30th. I told you to suck my ass also. Just to That's get that. Right. Well, you keep going. I knew it was um, theoretical anyway. All right. Yeah. <laughs> theoretical first. What is really this? good, a really good padding for time, guys. You absolutely you. smashed it. Thank you. 
We're now to the final round, and uh, the scores are as follows. Lily and Joe. No, Lily's on 10. Joe is... I'm on 10? Yeah, it was, spelling a word correctly was worth 10. Joe is uh, oh. also on 10. Mm-hmm. Aaron is on 30, and Io with what is tragically for the tension of the final round an unassailable lead <laughs> is on 65. <laughs> 65? Yeah, that, that wow. bonus 30 might be too much. I might have to adjust that for the next round. Yeah, but that's I, probably I the, that's the one problem with that acrostic round, I would say. Thanks, Joe. I'm glad that you don't see any other problems with the acrostic <laughs> round. It's nice to be on the I same think- page. <laughs> I love the acrostic round. What were you going to say, Aya? <laughs> I was going to say something that I didn't mean. Why don't you get like, hand over some <laughs> Yeah, and I was like, why would I do that? Yeah, I, I don't think you should do that. I'm uh, done for thinking the word was pathogen during like a global you You're know, not dumb. I thought that was smart. Crisis. I thought yeah. that was smart. It's a word yeah. I don't even know, man. That was smart as hell. It's too uh, smart. So that your, that's your only mistake. <laughs> That's We're that's now, always been my problem with spelling bees. I'm too smart for that. <laughs> <laughs> I spelled a harder you're, word. Every you're spelling, time. yeah, other much more difficult science-based words. <laughs> it's pathetic. Fuck, that was embarrassing. I wish I hadn't done that. Um, the championship round. These are all words that were spelled correctly by children in the Scripps National oh, Spelling God. Bee. This oh, year, no. I've taken words from the year 1953 to 1956. Joe, you will spell first. This word was spelled correctly by 13-year-old Elizabeth Hess from Phoenix, Arizona. And your word to win the to win the B in 1953, it's worth 25 points if spelled correctly. The word is Stubre. You can um, ask for it a, in a sentence. Yeah, I'll take a sentence, definition. please. Yeah, no, both. De- anything. Yeah. Give me anything. Stubre <laughs> is a na- it's a noun meaning an actress or other female performer playing a lively flirtatious role in a play or opera. The language of origin is French. And the example sentence I have here, written by someone called Columbine, I didn't have time to write one myself, is she may be a flirtatious and impudent character, indeed a soubre. This is actually like what I get cast as all the time. Damn. Same, so I should know this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna. Th- I'm just gonna guess that it's like a spin, uh, like a a cousin of the the word sorbet. S O U R B E T. The brain as Elizabeth Hess well knows, is actually spelt S-O-U-B-R-E-T-T-E. Mm. How did she know that? Soubret. Soubret. I was pronouncing it Soubret, right? Oh, that would have helped me. Was I not pronouncing it Soubret? God, it's, the wheels are coming off. Wait, are you, <laughs> are you for real? I thought it was, I, I just, all right, man. I got that wrong, Joe. I really, I do, I do apologize. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cycle back. I'm gonna find, I'm gonna do everyone else and I'll Don't worry back about it. I, no, I know no, in I my heart, badly. I, I know in badly. my heart how to spell diarrhea and that's all that matters. Joe, the fact that you even got to that close with guy spelling it, with guy mispronouncing it that egregiously. Thank you. I, I, just, I, I you. love sorbet. I love sorbet. So what can I say? <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right. You can say that. I would. I would like to apologize unequivocally. I'm sure I pronounced it correctly once, and then went way off the rails the rest of the time, <laughs> and followed my instincts. Never. <laughs> Thank you, Aya. Aaron, you're up next in the championship <laughs> round, and your word, as spelled correctly by William Cashaw of Norristown, Pennsylvania, in 1954, is transept. Transept. Yeah. Can I Do you please? About it? Please. No. <laughs> 50 oh. cents Australian. Um, <laughs> what, um, can I get a, um, uh, maybe a 
definition, sentence, that type of thing? Yeah, you can have it all, man. <laughs> Transcend, it's specifically in a cross-shaped church. It's either of the two parts forming the arms of the cross shape, projecting at right angles from the nave. So it's sort of, it's a physical part of the church. It's a noun, its language of origin is Latin. And in a sentence, uh, textiles were sold around the north transept, while meat, vegetable, and fuel sellers congregated around the south porch. Uh, tran transept. T R A N S C E P T. Transept. Oh, it's man. a true one. It's easier than you think. You didn't need to put that C in there, my friend. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh. Such it's trickery, I know. These look like C's, guys. Yeah, I thought that was like a crazy, mm -hmm. like, that like uh, a C But, well, I mean, it's, it's, it's an A. If you look really closely, <laughs> you can see. It still looks like a C. Oh, I yeah, can't get yeah. good enough focus on the camera. There's a little, <laughs> there's a little, I take a photo, I'll show you later. There's a tiny little bit of space where there's. <laughs> The E, the stroke yeah, that turns a C into an E. Me. I'd like to I, see it. I thought you'd like that. Lily, your word from 1955, as spelled correctly by Sandra Sloss of St. Louis, Missouri, is crustaceology. Oh. It's a Ooh. noun. It's the branch of zoology dealing with crustaceans. Oh. Um... <clears throat> C R U S T A <laughs> she she <laughs> <laughs> um. I mean, I guess say she. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> I I'll let, you can go from the top again. C R U S T A C O L O G Y. <laughs> <laughs> I lost track. At you G. were so close. You missed the, You missed an E. Otherwise, you got it. It's C R U S T A C E O L O G Y. Prestatiology. Yeah. I O. To really Sorry. hammer home this this romp that you this spelling romp you've taken us all on, <laughs> thanks to the very popular and widely well respected acrostic round. <laughs> As spelled correctly it's by fun. Melody it's Suchko. The idea of it is fun. Yeah. It is a good round. I like it. Thanks for saying it. Uh, from <laughs> Pittsburgh, <laughs> Pennsylvania. Uh, this word, I can't believe. You'd feel like a right idiot if you lost to someone who got to spell this word correctly. I shouldn't say anything about it because you might not get it, but I think you will. It's condominium. Oh. I actually think I'm going to spell this wrong, which is really cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> C O N D O M I N I U M condominium. Correct. Yeah. Wow. 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 So, okay. Let's no. Come we're on. We're hundred now. <laughs> no, I, I did not quite make a hundred. Right. Joe, do you want? Do you want another word, or we can just call it? It's your. It's up no, to you. I should get another word. But I. Yeah. I. Sure. Okay. Oh yeah, nice begrudging a, thing, but... Yeah, I mean it's this is a this was a romp. This is you know, but it's you know it's it might be nice. <laughs> what if Joe's word is worth like fifty? Yeah, I'm just even, then, a even then, even then he I'm wouldn't just touch you. Things Joe, Joe's <laughs> word, if you if you really want to hammer home how well you've done, I Joe's word would have to be worth. 81 you know, points. You know, you know, let's not do it. I don't want to do it now. I feel like I can okay. bow out graciously. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, Diarrhea, your way. D-I-A-R-R-O-H-O-P-A. -R -R -O -O wow. 
Correct. I give you. I give. I'm going to give. I. Uh, I'm going to leave this course as they are. Read them out to you. In fourth place, Joe. Oh, third equal. Joe and Lily are on ten. In second place, Aaron's on thirty. And in first place, in an unprecedented victory, <laughs> which almost makes me question the scoring system. Joe and Debbie on ninety points. You can read it's it like, right here. Wow. Yeah. I think it's like a combo of like the scoring system and also like obviously like Lily like nothing to you, but like if somebody like has this dyslexia, maybe. Yeah, like maybe like I shouldn't be on here. <laughs> I thought I thought you were great. I thought you brought a wonderful energy. You didn't. Right? No, I mean I'm glad I came on. I had to face my fear and I'm glad that Joe's on the bottom with me. I'm happy that. to be here with you. That means a lot. Yeah, I have no like impairment to play myself. <laughs> I just have to try harder next time. I think you all you all competed admirably. I'm so grateful for you guys taking part. Thank you so very much. Is there anything any of you you would like to point any of our viewers in the direction of to to enjoy any of your own work? Anything you've enjoyed particularly, or you can just say no. I'll start with you, Joe. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, I, I've, I've been really enjoying. I, I rewatched Wolf Hall recently. Great oh, show. yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what uh, it is. Thomas Cromwell. Uh, Tom, <laughs> yeah, Mark Rylance. It's, it sounds like this all could be made up to me, but it's a great <laughs> recommendation. It's a great, it's no, a great it's show. Real. Period it's piece. Real. I love it. Nice. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna try to get back into my my spelling game. I feel humiliated. I'm, I'm really shaken to my core. I can't even. No, no. Concentrate. You you, you watch my fantastic. watch my Netflix special. Nice. There it is. There it is. There it is. There he comes. <laughs> uh, Aaron. Uh, yeah, guys, check out. Um, I did some writing on a special as well. It's the Jerry Seinfeld 23 Hours to Kill. I wrote the second <laughs> half of it. Um, check it out. Great, thank you, Aaron. Uh, <laughs> Lily. Um. Yeah, I guess just um follow me online for <laughs> my spelling and um, <laughs> for other stuff too <laughs> and how, how would you do it it's at lily yilly l-i-l-y-l-y y-i-l-y i made it nice and hard to spell that's good uh and finally i um I watched a period piece that I really enjoyed the other day. It's a movie starring Tilda Swinton called Orlando. It's really great, really beautifully shot. Um, it's on Criterion Collection, and I think Canopy. If you got a library card oh, in yeah. America. Um, love Canopy. Shout out Canopy. Shout out libraries. Shout out, um, shout out to libraries. Like Canopy. Yeah. Okay. Shout out, shout out Hoopla. <laughs> <laughs> got a lot to shout out um, and Qu Quibi as well yeah, yeah. oh cool yeah. So shout out to like Jeffrey too. Katzenberg yeah and CISO <laughs> YouTube Red yeah um, <laughs> go, Verizon or, Go 90 yeah Verizon Go 90 uh, Cricket one of my favourite telcos over there in the States there's just so many great yeah. different brands to choose from you guys are really spoiled for choice Huge shout out to our sponsor oh, my for this. favorite streaming service, the Human Experience. Whoa. Nice, can't wait to Google that. So. Uh, thank <laughs> you so much to all of our competitors. A huge congratulations to Iowa Debris. Oh, that was like, shameful. I kind of feel excited bad. to come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, well, that's very exciting. It's like for a everyone. loud back. I yeah, of course. Bam. No, you're allowed. Okay. Um, guys, you're look allowed. after yourselves. Stay safe. I love you all. Thank you so much for playing. And we'll see you, you next time for the sixth Guy Montgomery's Guy Montgomery's Spelling Bee. Good night.